Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Natasha and it is a pleasure to read for you today. So, uh, we will start with the sign of Aries. Hi, Aries. Um, let's get right into it. Let's see what spirit has for you. I don't know if I want to do all the fire signs or do I want to do it? Keep it in the zodiac order. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's see what we got for Aries. Let's see what we got for Aries. Aries, we're going to start with your spirit message first. What does spirit have for my Aries placements? What is it that they most need to know at this time, spirit? Three cards. What do you have for Aries today, spirit? Your spiritual message. What's going on, Aries? Some of y'all feel like y'all are down on y'all's luck. You have not been having fun. Whatever transformation you've been trying to undergo, you have not been undergoing it. And you're not happy about it. So let's see what else we got here. So joy is in reverse. Oh my God, just pull a couple of tarot cards and then we're going to move right into love spirit guides ancestors great divine i ask that you will please give me clear honest messages for the sign of aries sun moon and rising let's clarify what is going on here clarify joy in reverse spirit for aries clarify the joy in reverse so some of y'all had to have some sort of ending here with the world. And this world ending, believe it or not, despite you feeling like joy is in reverse, it's actually putting you on the path to good luck. Despite what you think, okay? You, you're closed off. And you're really not open to new opportunities in love here with the Page of Cups. But you're closed off. But this is actually going to lead you towards good luck, Aries. Metamorphosis is in reverse. Butterfly, please clarify. My oh, metamorphosis is in reverse. The reason why metamorphosis is in reverse is because <clears throat> in order for you to have this transformation, some of you guys have to get in control. Wow. Wow. Sorry, I got so excited. Y'all have the emperor and the empress? Wow. Something you got very strategic about. It, it's going to lead you to where you have bossed up. Majorly bossed up. Some of y'all kind of got into like a Saturn type energy. It's like you really put some work in. You got like, you kind of got bullheaded, like really, really in control, like stubborn about something. And when you did, it led you to being the empress. Wow. Something you were very passionate about. Because you were feeling like you were out of balance at first. What more? Yeah, you felt like if you go back to something that leaves you out of balance, so you decided to get control, but when you got control, it led you to the empress. Yeah, so you had to, listen, something that left you out of balance, okay, you went back to, you had to put, a, you put, you, you had a lot of love here for this thing. What is going on? So you went toward it. You went toward the star with the chariot? What is going on, Aries? So you cut off something that had to do with a Ten of Pentacles situation. It probably had to do with family, finances. You cut that off. And it did not make some people happy. In fact, you cutting some things out of your life led some people into a great deal of stress and despair, but it led you to your wish fulfillment. So, so okay, so butterfly metaphor is, is in reverse. So something, some transformation you were undergoing, you stopped it. 
But when you stopped it, it required you putting strategy and control and business first, which led you to the empress. You had to get rid of things that made you feel out of balance. You didn't want to go back towards situations where there was no love. You decided that you were going to put all your passion and intention into having the star and the chariot, and you went towards it. When you decided to do that, that left some people very unhappy, stressed the hell out. Here with the nine of swords and the six, nine of swords upright, six of swords in reverse. You decided to, like I said, with the king of swords, you decided to cut some things off that had to do with a family dynamic. But when you did, it led you to the ten of cups. Ultimately, it made you real happy. Odd, odd. Okay, okay. All right, so, so far, that's what we got. Let's see fun in reverse. Maybe y'all got serious about work, Aries. What did you do? Clarify fun in reverse. Clarify the fun in reverse, spirit. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Fun in reverse. A partnership had to come to an end. Five of Pentacles in reverse, but you are healing. And, no, excuse me. You came out of the cold when this marriage ended. Knight of Wands. Yeah, something you were once passionate about. In order for you to um, come out of the cold, you had to let a partnership in. Knight of Pentacles. So you had, dang, you really walked away from some sort of partnership. And in letting that partnership in, it led you to the Knight of Pentacles. You were getting ready to go grow some money. Aries, you're growing some money. You made a choice. You made a choice with seven of cups in reverse to let something, you let something in. And by letting it in, it led you to being out the cold. What the heck? Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Good luck is in reverse. Clarify good luck, spirit. Clarify good luck. Yep, six of cups, the ace of wands. Ace of wands, what's this say? Judgment in reverse. So, hmm, ace of wands. We got ace of wands, judgment in reverse, six of cups. So, yep, by letting something in, it helped you to birth something new that ultimately led you to happiness. Wow, y'all went after y'all's personal wish fulfillment. Six of Wands in reverse. You didn't care if you got recognition from this king or queen, this, this queen of cups. You decided that you didn't care if you got attention from a queen of cups. You decided, I'm not going, I'm not, listen, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, Okay, so you decided to no longer work on something with a Queen of Cups. You didn't care about getting recognition. Only thing you cared about was getting your personal wish fulfillment. And this is good luck in reverse. Yeah, this is something that you had to communicate to a King of Wands. Oh. Something that led you made you feel weak at first. You decided to go and have a new start. You decided to communicate this with a king of wands. And it led you to the nine of pentacles. It ended up leading you to the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles with options. But in order for you to get there, you had to cut something out. And it was just a matter of a time before it led to the three of wands. Unfortunately, though, Somebody was going to end up unhappy and it, they were very unhappy and it was going to have to go off and heal. Oh, goodness. You had to go share something. Once you got this thing that you tried to share, some people got mad, I guess, because you didn't want to take care of them. Queen of Wands. 
It made them feel like they were queen of wands in reverse. It, it made them feel less confident because you didn't want to work with them anymore. But lo and behold, spirit came in and gave some of y'all a brand new offer. And you took this new offer, honey, because it left you balanced. It left you feeling balanced. The new offer? So it's like... <sighs> yep, once you gained enlightenment about this new offer, it, it put you in balance. Okay, so this is what I got for you, Aries, basically for your spiritual message. Something that left you feeling unhappy... You never thought you were going to get this transformation. You wasn't having fun in it, and you thought that you just had bad luck. But somehow, Aries, y'all might want to go watch the collective message. Somebody is going to choose themselves. And in choosing themselves, it leads them to getting everything they ultimately wanted. So... It led them to their Ten of Pentacles. It led them to joy. It led them to self-fulfillment. And in doing that, they still ended up getting the offer that led them to being balanced and led them to being happy. Okay, so that's your spiritual message. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so let's go into love. We're going to go into the tarot for love. And then we're going to end with a quick money message. Spirit, guys, ancestors, great divine, can you give me five cards for the love portion of Aries? We kind of talked about love just a little bit in that spiritual message. Or project, you know, for the future, how it goes. Spirit, what can you tell me about the love life of Aries? I didn't know where we were going with that. Because everything was in reverse, but then it led to, like, you were happy. Other people weren't happy. Temperance, okay, is in reverse. Queen of Cups, something is going to lead to feeling out of balance with a Queen of Cups. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, something is going very slowly, is leading someone to feel out of balance. One more. Seven of Cups. Okay, somebody getting a lot of options is causing things to grow really slow with a Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. Um, uh, that's my water signs. That would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So something fell out of balance, Aries, with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Love between the two of you guys was going something, you know... You were a little bit passionate about was growing really, really slow. And part of the reason it was growing so slow is because it looked like somebody had multiple options. They were getting a lot of attention from others. And this ended up making you feel like you had to close yourself off from the conflict. There was a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. Um, it led to one person feeling like they had to really close themselves off. But with the six of, they had to close themselves off from somebody that used to bring them a lot of joy and happiness. They rescinded their offer with the Ace of Pentacles. Anything else, Spirit? You took back an offer. And you let something end. You took back an offer. And you let something end. Ace of Swords here in reverse with a Queen of Wands. You had to end something with a Queen of Wands in order for you to go towards this. You, you had to end something here. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords. You, some of y'all might have felt like a Queen of Wands acted very childish. Really childish. Uh, this might be a Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You decided to put an end with something towards them because they were they were acting very childish. You got the Page of Pentacles here in reverse with the Page of Swords. 
Yeah, you didn't feel like things were going to go well with you, so you decided that it was time to let that end with a fortune in reverse. Because you felt like it just was not working out in your favor to keep putting passion into that. So you decided to leave, Aries. And when you left, you got your wish fulfillment. Just kind of just like what happened here. You decided to go do your own thing by ending a partnership. You decided with the de the lovers is here with the devil. You freed yourself from something that you felt was toxic. It may have only been based on sex, something that kept you feeling like you were um kind of tied to an unhappy situation. So with the king of swords here, you put an end to it. You put an end to it. Mm -hmm. you, this situation, you put an end to a marriage, five of pentacles, or something that left you feeling like it left you out in the cold. So you decided to go off and have you a new start. That's what I got for Aries. Aries decided to go off and have a new start. Yep, and by you focusing on this new start, it took you out of your stress. You ended up meeting some sort of goal. You ended up putting using all this effort to have this new start. You had all the tools you need. And whatever it ended up doing, it led you to ultimate wish fulfillment. Nine of Swords. You ended up being, you ended up healing over the heartbreak. You ended up getting out of your head. You ended up finally being able to sleep at night. You went after your goals. And it led to you feeling your ultimate happiness. So you had to let something in in love due to a third party situation. And at first it did leave you feeling weak and like you had to be closed off. But once you gain clarity, honey, with this moon reverse, it led you to stop being juggling in your emotions. You decided to, to plant new seeds. You didn't want to go back. You wanted to go off and plant new seeds. You you let something in. You let something in. And it, when you let this thing in, it led to your ultimate fulfillment, Aries. Ooh, I'm sorry for the cross watcher. That didn't sound too nice. That did not sound nice at all. Okay, so we got 17.25 on the clock. Let's go ahead and get into love. I mean, uh, not love, uh, money. Excuse me, Aries, money. Spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. What do you have for Aries money message today? A real quick money message for Aries placements. I was going to knock on it. I need to shuffle it again. Money messages for Aries. One more. Aries, some of you guys need to get into real estate. Any dealings in real estate will be profitable at this time. Um, yeah, so whether you want to become a realtor, a loan officer, an appraiser, or any career path in real estate will be good. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Money manager, Aries, some of y'all are getting ready to need a money manager. Expect positive financial changes in your life. Your hard work is going to pay off and you're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The past is here. The past is coming back. An old job or an old connection. Get ready, Spirit, uh, Aries. This, this is your money message. So some of you guys might be getting a call from an old job or someone from your past is getting ready to enter. Look to the past to understand the future. There's a lesson or an old skill there. Something you're going to go back to from the past it's, uh, or look at an old lesson with someone or an old skill, uh, an old skill or some sort. This, uh, the past though, for some of y'all is holding you back. So teach yourself to be in the present. And it's looking like according to the spiritual message and the love message, y'all decided to get really focused on the present and whatever it is, it led to y'all's ultimate wish fulfillment. I'm going to look at what's at the bottom here. Right now might not be the uh, with transporter. This was in reverse. Right now might not be the best time to travel for work. Um, things are taking a little bit longer than expected to manifest, but just keep going. Y'all have spell work. Now, this is what some of you guys might need to do. You might need to use magic spells or manifesting power is very strong at this time. Some of y'all need to do that. Cast a spell to remove any kind of blockages or negative energy. And be wary of casting the wrong spell. 
or somebody giving you the evil eye at this time, Aries placements. Gossip is in reverse. Um, right now, people might not be talking about what you're doing um, at this time. Um, your personal drama, though, for some of y'all, is getting in the way with work. Because like I said, gossip is in reverse. So personal drama might be getting in the way of work. Um, people might not be talking or they may be talking about what you're doing. But in order to minimize the drama, you got to take personal responsibility and act in integrity. And it looks like some of y'all was going to do that because it was leading to your ultimate wish fulfillment. So that's all I have for you, Aries, in your money message. Thank you for joining me here on I Am The Light. It has been a pleasure to read for you today. Um, if you like the message, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, baby. Bye-bye.